Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome in to those that are new. Disney Dreamlight Valley has finally updated the game and added some unique features. Today we are going to decorate and design a minimalistic bedroom and play with the new touch of magic feature. For this room we will be using the large gray brick wallpaper and then we will also be using the Mickey Mouse hardwood flooring. Beige, cream, and neutral colors will be our color palette for today. We are going to start off by designing a bed and rug to match the aesthetic of our room. There are so many cool options to choose from when it comes to textures and you can really get creative with the motifs. I will use flourishes and symbols to create this minimalistic yet elegant design. I'm going to be choosing the wooden look for the bed frame and I'm using that cream color to accentuate it to make sure that it's matching our palette. I love being able to customize our furniture now, but there are some major UI issues with the Touch of Magic tool. It's not very user friendly in my opinion and I would like to see an update to it, specifically with the ability to zoom out and the ability to place our bed wherever we like in the room. It kind of chooses for you. Also the ability to expand or enlarge a layer to cover exactly what we want. Some of the motifs are only expandable by a certain size. Now, I am new to this feature, so any insight to any of these issues that I am experiencing, maybe there's something I'm missing, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. As you watch me for the first time make my first ever touch of magic design for a bed, I want to throw in a plug. Um, please consider joining our cozy dreamlight community in our official discord. This is a safe community where you can do things like talk about games, share your outfit of the day, and you can get feedback from other dreamlights and make friends at the same time. The link is in the description down below, and I hope to see you in there.
you like my style and are enjoying your time here with me today, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, turn on notifications to help my channel grow. I appreciate your support so much. So this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. I was trying to mess with like the different options to see if anything expanded it out. Unfortunately, the only way that I could figure out to cover everything that I wanted to cover, which was like the main part of the um, comforter, was to add multiple layers to it. So if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them.
rug, I'm just going to choose a rattan looking texture and keep it simple with the same color palette. Okay, so now that we have our two designs, it is time to decorate the room. I will try out different windows, but ultimately I do choose the tall arch windows for this room. That is one of my signature windows. I love them so much, and I feel like they really fit our color palette too. We can then play with different wall hangings and side tables. I chose the octagonal side table and the swinging painting to go over the bed. The memory frame painting would look really cute here too. I'm so happy that they fixed the glitch with this painting though. I will also place the white orchid in the pink pot, that item, on both tables. And I did also add in the hanging wicker lamps. happy to announce that I am now offering different channel memberships. You can get access to exclusive content and channel emojis that I made. You can even get monthly decor tips from me and see my build sooner, depending on the membership that you choose. As always, I appreciate your support for my channel. For the wall parallel to our bed, I did end up trying different things with this build, but I decided to go with the white bookcases because I felt like the florals that I had, it was just like too much for a minimal look. I also added in a harp and a stool, as well as some books at the foot of the bed. The topiaries were a nice touch to the ends uh, for the bookcases.
and we are finished with this build. Let me know in the comments what you think. How did I do with my first touch of magic bed and rug design? If you enjoyed your time with me today, consider hitting that subscribe and like button to help my channel grow. You can also turn on notifications so that you don't miss my next build. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day.